Hello everybody, it's Trace here back with another video and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to play um, Wii U games on your PC. So emulation is kind of a gray area right now, but in my opinion if you own the game and you own the console it should be fine, but I just thought I'd put that out there because you know it's a little controversial. Controversial. Bleh. So um, you're going to want to start by checking some of the links in the description and downloading um, the files that I have put in there. So at the first website we have the U Wii U USB help helper. Um, if you search this up on Google, uh, it's gonna be a bit, what the heck am I doing? It's gonna be possibly a bit confusing because, nope, okay, it's the top one. It used to be the second one for a while, but I guess not. So this is the first one. Um, you wanna go down a bit until you find this button. You wanna download for Windows, obviously. Um, and then once you have that downloaded, we'll move on to the next one. But as you can see here, this actually is pretty useful for Dolphin, which is the GameCube emulator. Simu, the Wii U emulator. Citra, I have no idea what Citra is. I want to say it's like DS or something like that. Um, but yeah, it has a lot of emulators you can use on it. So this is a pretty useful tool. So you're going to first off start by installing the Wii U helper. Um... So you're going to have to select a place for this. I put this in my document. Uh, okay. That's fine. Um, I'm going to call this CMU. Yeah, why not? Okay. I'm going to put that in the CMU folder. And this is where all of this stuff is being stored. So that's something you can do. Um... So after it's opened, uh, you want to go ahead and open that up. So it's gonna, it's gonna ask you. Oop, I opened up a second one. It it opens opens it for you. Okay, so you're just gonna click the U.S. one because, you know. Um, and after you click that one, you're it's gonna. You're gonna, it's going to ask you where you want to store your games at. So, I have this one in Simu. So, let's get a new folder. Type it, games. And uh, you just create that folder, select that folder, you're done. So, then it's going to be asking you for... Um, <laughs> it's going to ask you for like a title key site. And I have one in, in the description for you. It's called, but if you don't want to type that or copy it, it's Wii U dot title keys dot Q G Q forward slash. So it's right there. And then you want to click that. So when you hit OK, it's going to open up. It's going to start loading up the Wii U emulator. It might take a bit because it's loading up everything. But for the most part, it's a quick open. Um, it, thank you for using uh, new. It is strongly advised not to update. Okay, that's a little strange. So this is this is the thing. Um, so this is basically you can just just you know go go ham from here. But you have all these different games you can download. Um, so a big reason why you would get this is for Breath of the Wild, and it's right there. You could do that. But since that's ten gigabytes, I'm not gonna download it right now. Um, I'm just kind of looking for something to quickly download, and I'm, <laughs> there's a, there's a huge selection of Mario games in this one. Um, so let's, let's look through these and see which one, 4 gigabytes doesn't seem too bad, and it's Mario Kart, so, um, I think you can set it extraction directory, so, I don't know if it does because some people like to use the actual CMU thing. And so I'll, I'll get into that in a second. So you want to set an extraction folder, apparently. I never do it, but some people have a preference to just use CMU itself other than launching up the USB helper and then going through it from there. I think there might be a performance difference or if it's just a preference. But um, once you have that, you want to click Add. And it's going to add it to there and ask you if you want the updates, you say yes. If you want the DLC, you will also say yes. And then when you have, you can add multiple, but when you have the one you want, you just hit start downloading. 
and it's going to start downloading through that thing. I learned myself when you try to click off and you can't find it again. It's just the download manager. Easy for me, but yeah, it was hard for me in the beginning. So, you're going to wait for it to download. It varies. Super Smash Bros. is not um, a fast one. It's like roughly 20 gigabytes. Uh, Breath of the Wild is, you know, half. So, um, but while we're waiting... <laughs> Um, I'm going to show you a useful thing to decide whether or not you actually want to download um, or spend your time downloading these, M I guess, the games, is you go to the cmu.info, and then there's a compatibility little tab right there. So when you click on compatibility, blah, 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 it'll bring up this, which is ratings for the games, and every game that's currently available on the cmu platform, I guess, ready for emulation. And... So you can filter out the perfect one, filter out to only show you the ones that are perfect, such as like you know, um, <laughs> Ollie Ollie. That one's pretty okay. Super Meat Boy. You know, there's not a lot that are just like no issues whatsoever. There's some of these. These are playable games. You have playable is actually pretty okay. So you know, <laughs> um, you'll you just look through here. Mario Kart 8 runs like almost flawlessly on my system and I'll put my specs down in the description below to let you know what they are and they are in pretty uh it's pretty useful um what you don't want to do is go to the um download anything that's unplayable because you're just gonna or unplayable loads um there's one Super Smash Bros. U, or for the Wii U, uh, has, like, this big problem, at least for me, where it just, like, every time you start a match, it just lags and stutters nonstop, and sometimes it'll crash. So maybe avoid that one, but I think this should be something you should check out, especially if you're trying to see what game you want to get. So, looking back at this now, it's... 24 minutes okay it's going down and probably shouldn't have opened that so i'll check you i'll check in on you guys in a second okay so as you can see um the downloads coming to a close so sometimes the it just shifts up and down randomly i don't know if it's because i'm recording or if it's like what but it does do that so don't get your hopes too high that it will be finishing in five minutes because it could go up and down depending on reasons and oh my god so now that the download has been completed you can uh just if you just want to get straight into it you can go that and play the game and then you'll be fine <laughs> and make it work but otherwise you can just play the game and it will just i have to download stuff Oh goody. After you play the game and well you play this game, press it, it's gonna if it, for first time on every game it's gonna bring up this little thing right there. And this thing basically me it's just kinda like getting all of its stuff together so you can play the game. After it does this it's gonna be fine. It's never gonna really take this long. It'll do it after updates occasionally, just but most of the time, you can just load it, and it's going to um, prepare itself, and it'll be up in no time, really. Um, it's going to do this, as well as one other thing when you actually s try to try to <laughs> when you try to open the game. It's going to bring up something similar to this, but not exactly this. It's just going to be compiling data or shaders or something. Um, you'll see in a second, but it's... Just something to for you to, I guess, know. So as you can tell, it's all done now. And it's going to be opening up Simu. And, okay. I don't ever want to see that again. So, as you can tell, it went from downloaded to ready for emulation, which is pretty cool as well. So, and it opened up in this window. So, before you can actually play anything, you might want to get a controller. It will help out a lot. I'm using an Xbox One S controller. So, um, you know, it's going to open up. It might stutter the first few times you play, and then it's fine. So, 
but as you can tell, I'm pressing all the buttons. So pressing all the buttons and none of them are making the game start. Well, that's because you kind of need to, you know, I just enable PC. You're gonna need to change your input to use your controller. So you're gonna click that, you're gonna go to controller one and gamepad. It only works if you use the gamepad. And then you're gonna do X input for a controller. And then you're gonna select the controller you wanna use. I believe this one's controller one. So, and then you're just gonna wanna set them up. I have mine set. Okay, I'm using the wrong one. Controller, controller two. Well, <laughs> so you're gonna go A, B, X, Y. I did F, uh, blep, 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 plus, minus, left click. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, up, down, left, right. Right click, up, down, left, right. And then your D pads. And then you could just do that. What you want to do is you're going to save this as, um, I'm going to save this as wireless. And you're going to save. And then you can set up m up to eight controllers. And you can use your keyboard as well, but controllers are just what you should be using for this. And when you go to change it, you always have one to go up with. So after that's done, you close it. You're going to, now it's, it's working, so I go to press A to start, and I press A to start. You can actually do full screen, so you can... There you go. Um, it just brought up an empty screen, but you just skip over that. And you're gonna do single player, and then you can just play along, do whatever you want, um, to let you know that it's working. Yeah. So, it switches back in a second. There you go. So, you know, that's pretty cool. You got yourself your emulator thing open and you can play games which what the hell <laughs> you can play games which that is awesome so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um make sure you guys leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below if you have any questions um if you want anything else explained and uh that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching